Hello! Today a long-awaited package arrived from Devisoft, so today I'm going to open it, show what's inside, and in the end I'll do a brief showcase. So, this is the box. It's relatively big and quite heavy. And opening it, the first thing which we see are some cables. There is one long and one short, and these will of course be necessary for connecting the instrumentation in at the end. There is also a power supply, a regular power supply, which is necessary for powering it. Deeper in the box, we can find inside some bubble wrap. This, and though this may look, this looks like a regular series, this is the PWR MCTS2. Um, this is basically a power supply used for some sensors. And in the end, we have the famous DCCT, which is the new current sensor that was released by Devisoft. This sensor is particularly useful as it is a current transformer which can with high accuracy measure both DC and AC and so here it can be seen. Okay, so connecting everything with the series is quite simple. So here is the Sirius XHS and I have decided that I will mount the uh, Sirius MCTS2 on top. So to do this, we just have to turn these plastic connectors outward and then place it on top. And after turning them back in, you can see that it has now become a single piece. DCCT cannot be connected directly to the series because it consumes too much power. So what we will do is connect here the output one of the MC2S to channel 5 of the series XHS and then using the long cable we can connect the DCCT to the power to the MC2S. Okay, so like so, we have everything connected as can be seen here, and then we have the DCCT connected over here. We must, of course, connect the um, C MCTS2 to the power supply, which can be done easily. And after plugging everything in, it should start working. We can turn on Devisoft X. Okay, so now that everything is connected and powered up, we can see here Devisoft X. So we just have to select the DCCT channel. Now I will be testing it just with my uh, not very high quality power supply, which is kind of noisy. And I will reduce the range to like 168. Okay, we can go to measure. And we can see that the value stays roughly at zero. The negative value, we can also set it to 168 as we won't be measuring any large currents. Okay, now here I've got the leads of my power supply, so I can just pass the wire and I can short the power supply. Okay, so by shorting the power supply, we can measure that there was a high peak and then the current is relatively constant. It seems to be about, as you can see, it's quite noisy, but it does seem to be around 9 amps, which is roughly how much my power supply is saying. You can also see that there is a peak of roughly 73 amps. Um, this is probably because of some capacitors in the power supply. So now what I will do 
is I will increase slightly the bandwidth I'll set it to roughly 10 mega sample or maybe one and I will increase the range to 1000 amps okay so now I will try shorting my power supply when it's set to its maximum voltage okay so by shorting the power supply you can hear that it makes much louder spark and first off now that the sample rate is higher we can see more of the noise that is in the power supply as can be seen here we can of course measure the values so as we can see it seems that there was this quite long peak that had reached 342 amps which is a bit more than I expected I did not think that the power supply will give so much power and anyways after this, the voltage remains relatively constant, apart from the aforementioned noise. But still, the value still seems to be about 9.5 amps. Something interesting to notice is that each time that I shorted the power supply, the voltage, the current is higher. So this is probably just by coincidence. Yes, I think that this uh, briefly shows what the DC City is capable of with its uh, high accuracy, though I haven't been able to test that in this uh, demonstration as, as I said before, this, this noise is all coming from the power supply and not from the DC City itself. It, the DC City is also notable for its high bandwidth and I think that we can demonstrate that slightly with all the noise we picked up. Anyways, that's all for today, so thank you for watching, and for now, bye.